weather is absolutely perfect. so excited to be here. I really haven't had a lot of experience with New York City. The last time I was here, it was 2018 and it was for New Year's. I think it was the New Year's 2018 to 2019. And it was a very, very quick trip. We explored a little bit of New York, but it was very, like we explored a lot of the kind of like touristy places. So I, I feel like I haven't really gotten a sense for like the actual like lived part of New York. I got in really, really late last night at like 1 a.m. and I just like came to the hotel. I met Miles here. I should also give some context as to like what's going on. Sorry, I have so many things I need to tell you guys. So I am here because Miles was coming here for a work trip. He's meeting a bunch of clients and kind of everyone from the LA office and the New York office are meeting here and they're doing a whole big like thing. It's a whole big thing. And so he was already gonna be here for a weekend in a hotel room that was covered by the company. And we were just talking, talking about how I haven't been to New York city that much talking about how i have friends here who i like haven't really visited i haven't done my due diligence and like given them a visit you know we were just like you know what why don't i come with you i'll stay with you in the hotel and while he's working in his meetings and presentations all day i'll just work from the hotel room and then i'll get to visit some friends he'll get to visit some friends and then we'll have a nice little weekend in new york so that is the plan and because of the time difference we're three hours ahead so technically i don't need to start work until noon and it's 11.52. So I've already been out exploring a little bit. I met up with my friend Allison for coffee. We went to the Laughing Man Cafe and I got a honey lavender latte. It is so incredibly good, but guess what, you guys? $7. $7. So I met with her while she was like having a break between calls because her office was pretty close to there. And then when she had to go back to work, I just like decided to explore a little bit. And she recommended a place called Pop-Up Bagels. Now, basically their whole like shtick is that they, instead of a bagel sandwich, you can tear the bagel and dip it in schmear. So in theory, I thought that was really cool because I was like, oh, it's like a different way to eat a bagel. Like maybe I was picturing like the bagels would be like maybe more bite-sized or something, but no, it's literally a bagel that you're meant to rip and then dip. Essentially, they're just making you do their job for them. Also, they had a three bagel minimum so I had to spend $12 on bagels and get three bagels just to rip and dip my own bagel. But honestly, they're getting away with it, so more power to them. I'm gonna go ahead and try my first true New York bagel. I take back everything I said. This is magical. The bagel is so warm. Cream cheese is so like whipped and fluffy. You know what, not bad pop-up bagels, not bad. So plan for the day is I am going to work from the hotel room and then hopefully let's look. My last call is gonna end at 5.30 New York time. So probably by that point, Miles will be back. And then the plan is to go to his friend's house for dinner tonight. And my friend that I got coffee with is gonna meet us there also. And yeah, I think his place is walkable from here. So we'll get to do some more like New York City walking. But the bad news is that I walked for probably like 45 minutes today already. And I already have blisters. I'm breaking in my new Doc Martens. And I have blisters, you guys. So I'm probably gonna have to go to CVS and get those like blister patches thing just to make sure like, this isn't a miserable time. But yeah, so I wanna just bring you guys along for the weekend, show you what we get up to. I'm like so excited to be here, especially during this time of year because you guys, the air is crispy. The air is fall. It's all I've been wanting for the past like month is to have like a nice 60 degree day where I can wear a light jacket. And guess what you guys, that is what the weather is. So it's just been a great start already. So I will bring you guys along for the rest of the weekend. the next day. Last night was really fun. We had dinner with both groups of friends, with Miles' friend and my friend. I feel like we combined forces pretty well, but today is just a rainy day in New York. Right now we're headed to get coffee and then we're gonna get some bagels. We've gotten like 10 severe weather reports, but we're like, la 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 la, time to go get a bagel. It's actually a monsoon outside, like actually truly. It's like super severe weather, but look at this bagel. I mean, this, this is a dream. It's actually a full on monsoon outside. We're at our hotel and we're just kind of like resetting before we figure out what we're gonna do tonight. But we really honestly are not trying to go too far from the hotel and we're not trying to drive anywhere. Basically, I'll give you, I'll give you the lay of the land. The subway 
is shut down and there's videos of flooding throughout the city of like people like wading in water up to their waist and i guess it's like a really intense coastal storm so we are just gonna stay like within walking distance of our hotel and if it's starting to look like crazy flooding, obviously we will come right back. But we wanna like continue to explore, you know? Like we don't just wanna sit in the hotel all night. So we're gonna try and explore this flooded city by foot. And it's funny, I feel like we like jinxed it a little bit because all yesterday we were talking about how like it's perfect weather. And we were talking about how like New York was being so stereotypically New York. Like all the yellow cabs and I saw like a woman in like a nice long dress like gorgeous like sex in the city vibes like hailing down a cab and you know the like sewage was like making steam into the streets and we were kind of walking around like really is this really New York like I feel like you guys are all doing like a parody of New York like is this really how it is and then of course the second that we say New York is being a parody of New York and the second that we say New York is being stereotypically New York, a monsoon hits and the city floods. I'm convinced it's because you never open your portion cookie still. <gasps> Even though I've told you a lot. Should I do it? Yeah. Miles is convinced. What is this even from? The hotel. Oh, the hotel gave us a yeah, fortune cookie? Yeah, I already opened mine. I need to open it. Oh no, what if it says, like, if you don't open this, <laughs> the entire city will flood? <laughs> oh my god, you guys. You guys, you guys can help me with this fortune. It says, are you ready to be the next overnight success story? Mm. Sleep, believe, and you shall conquer. XOXO. I needed, I needed that. I needed that. I tried to get you to open it. But you guys, help me be the next overnight success. Like and subscribe. So the plan for tonight, we're gonna go to a museum that's within walking distance. What kind of stuff is it? It's almost like... Like an interactive... Yeah, it's like interactive... Lights museum. Lights. I don't know. I'll show you guys if I'm allowed to film in there. Yeah, it's called Inter I Am. It's in Soho and all the reviews say it's like really underrated, like kind of like a hidden gem almost. So we're gonna go check that out. Then I think we're gonna go to a bar close by to there. And then we actually made a reservation at the hotel restaurant after that, just cause we weren't sure like truly how crazy the city is gonna get weather wise tonight. If we're able to explore, we will, but I just, I didn't know, you know, people are saying like, the mayor sent out a thing saying like, stay home at all costs. So like, we might just end up coming back to the hotel and getting dinner here. All right, that's the plan for the night. New York city looks good on you. Okay, can I just say something for a quick second? That Miles is so good at finding restaurants in cities where we've never been to before. Like he's so incredibly good at it to the point where we were just at our last place and we tonight we're kind of just like bopping around. Like we had some oysters and some sushi and now we're gonna go like for actual dinner somewhere else. Like we're kind of just bopping around. We've already been to some place for drinks and he was looking up places just randomly online and then we asked our waiter like, hey, do you have any recommendations? And the place that Miles was actively looking at online was the place that our server was like, this is the place you gotta go. I used to work there, it's great. I don't know, you're just so good at it. And it's why I don't even try, like I don't even attempt, you know? So now we're off to our next place. It's Italian, hopefully we can get in. But now we're off to the next spot. Miles, you know, found it with his excellence and we're gonna hope that this is where we're gonna go to for actual dinner. We're at Osteria Morini with this boy. Ice cream, ice cream. We got some ice cream. Gelato. Yeah, true. We got some gelato. 
I got pistachio, shout out Paul Stewart. You shout got out. what, coffee? Cafe. Now we're heading back to the hotel. It's the next day. We spent the whole day over in Williamsburg hanging out with my friend from college. And it was really cool to see a different part of the city. I feel like I definitely vibe with Williamsburg slash Brooklyn a little more than true Manhattan. But overall, I'm just so like impressed by how walkable New York City is. Like LA, you have to really, really plan out what you're doing. There's no chance of you, I mean, there's a little bit of chance if you're walking around like West Hollywood if, or if you're walking around like Santa Monica, you can kind of stumble along, but there's really like only a few block radius where you could stumble. But I feel like New York, I'm gathering that it's like much more go with the flow. And New York seems like a city where the fact that it's a city actually helps you, you know, do more. Whereas LA, it's a city and the fact that it's a city actually makes you end up doing less. Like the version of city that LA is, is kind of a hindrance. Whereas the version of city that New York is, is kind of like a tool. So it's been really fun. Tonight is our last night. We're going just to grab a quick dinner. And then I think we're gonna try and meet up potentially with some of Miles' friends. Maybe we'll see some of my friends that we saw earlier in the day today. But yeah, we'll see what we get up to. Last night we went in with a plan and then ended up just like bebopping around it was so fun to just kind of like walk and see where the night took us so I'm sure we're going to be doing that tonight as well just kind of like starting with a little general plan and then kind of like seeing where the night takes us I got these new earrings from a little like vintage it wasn't vintage I guess it was more of like a thrift store in Brooklyn how cute are those I like a nice dangly earring but I still feel like this is like very delicate although it's a dangly earring so it's just kind of fun so yeah successful successful little trip over to Brooklyn slash Williamsburg I'm just refreshing a little bit I'm someone who like genuinely needs a moment even like right now this is only gonna be like a 15 minute minute stint back in the hotel room here but I need this but no I just need like a reset moment throughout the day on vacation like I can do stuff during the day during the middle of the day but I need like a nice break between like day activities and night activities even if that's 15 minutes I need like an official break so I got my break kind of but I did spend my break just kind of like refreshing my makeup a little bit but I feel re-energized I feel good I'm gonna switch shoes because as much as I love the Doc Martens this is kind of like my first big walking trip with them and they are a little stiff. So I think I'm gonna switch to sneakers, just switch to a little more comfy. I got a little comfier jeans on. You know, we're just gonna head into the night feeling a little more refreshed. And just like that, <laughs> and just like that, I'm so New York. But no, yeah, I am back in Los Angeles. We are back from New York. We just got back um, last afternoon, last afternoon, yesterday afternoon. You can see that the weekend is catching up to me. I feel like we were so go, go, go that whole time, which I'm glad that we did it that way. I'm glad that we just kind of pushed through and kept doing things, but I swear, that first coffee when I met my friend, that first coffee on Thursday feels like 45 years ago. And to think of all the ground we covered since then, it's insane. It's insane for a normal person, but it's especially insane for me considering I don't like to do that much. And I usually don't like to structure my vacations so go, go, go. But because it was like we were just there for a weekend, we were also working while we were there. So the free time that we did have, I really wanted to use. And I never got around to showing you guys that hotel room. I'm kind of bummed. I totally forgot to give you guys a room tour, but that room was literally a box. Like I'm sure you can tell from the few clips that I did get in there. Like you walked in, it was a shower, the sink, and the bed like that was all that there was so apart from the times when we did have to be in the room like when we were changing or when i was working or when we were sleeping like we really weren't trying to hang out in the room which is abnormal for me because i love a nice hotel room hang okay but it was just very claustrophobic in there so i think that added also to like the go 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 ness of the weekend but overall i had such a good time it was such a good weekend it was so good to see my friend and to see her friends and to meet some miles's friends that i haven't met before it was just like a really nice like honestly wholesome weekend and despite the monsoon we ended up getting up to a lot and weirdly i think the monsoon I, i'm calling it a monsoon it was just a coastal storm but you get what i mean but weird actually especially for that friday night i think the storm actually helped us 
really explore in a weird way because we didn't want to make any solid plans for fear of the storm like ruining those plans you know what i mean so we were just very like go with the flow we'll see what we can accomplish and going into it with that mindset actually made us accomplish and made us see so much more so i honestly think i might just like take that approach to traveling in general of just like not making too harsh of plans and really just like seeing where the day takes us i really liked what we got up to when we took that approach and although i really liked new york i do not think i could live in new york it was so fast paced like i feel like if i was doing that every weekend like i would be run down within a month like i would be such a hermit i think if i actually lived there because i think like the hustle and bustle of the city while it's fun for a vacation like for life i think i would get a little overwhelmed but i got my fair share of good new york bagels honestly you guys i am so insanely bloated right now like you have no idea like i really kind of went overkill with the bagels but i think my favorite bagel was the one from brooklyn bagel that was also the only like bagel sandwich i got so that might be skewing the scale a little bit all the rest of the bagels that i got were more just like bagel and schmear so i wonder if my thoughts would be different if i tried like bagel sandwiches from every spot but definitely brooklyn bagel had that nice gooey cheese, nice fluffy bagel. It was so good. I think my favorite coffee was from The Laughing Man. That's where I went that first Thursday morning. Got the honey lavender coffee. It was so good. And it was a subtle lavender flavor, but it really came through really nice. That one was really good. I also love the area that was in. I think that was in... If I'm remembering correctly, my friend told me that we were in like Tribeca area. I really loved that area. Walking down Greenwich Street was beautiful. The cobblestone, it was just really nice to kind of roam around that area also. I think my favorite dinner was our first dinner that we got. We actually, I never explained this to the vlog, but we were supposed to go to Miles' friend's house for dinner Thursday night. But you know, when boys make plans, you know, the plan changed like 80 times, but the plan that we ended up going with was we all met at a place called Lola Tavern. So good, it was Greek food and everything was so spectacular. They had great spreads and we did it kind of family style. So we were all sharing everything and that was also a cool way to get a lot of like good different foods in. So I would recommend that. I don't think I got any clips of that, but that was definitely my favorite dinner. I think my favorite cocktail was at the Lure Fish Bar. I got the gin sake martini and I think it also had elderflower in it. That was incredible. Although that definitely contributed to my horrible hangover that I did not show you guys on um, what would that have been, Saturday morning. I was really down bad <laughs> for a little bit on Saturday morning. We were supposed to meet my friend Allison over in Williamsburg for brunch. And I did have to cancel that, I won't lie. I did have to rest a little bit through brunch and then we ended up meeting them in Brooklyn and Williamsburg like a little later into the day, like more around one or 2 p.m. But I definitely miss brunch, I think in part due to that sake martini, but it was so good. Also the oysters there were really good and I liked what we did with that place in particular. We went just for like a few snacks and a drink, like we didn't do full dinner there. I think that was a really cool way to get the experience of the place. We honestly didn't do a lot of dessert, but we did get gelato at Figo that was really good, got pistachio. We were staying at the Arlo Hotel, which it was a box, don't get me wrong. And I think pretty much every single room in that hotel is literally a box like you're not gonna get a lot of room to recuperate in terms of a hotel room there but i think the location was really nice and they also had a really nice um rooftop that we ended up going to our last night there oh favorite bar was this place called peaches it was in chinatown so cool great music we walked in they played like five Taylor Swift songs, five Britney. They put, they were playing such like good girl anthem throwbacks. It was so nice. Also just like seeing Chinatown and walking those streets was really cool too. But yeah, we got up to a lot and now I'm thoroughly exhausted. I am extremely and thoroughly bloated. <laughs> And now I'm just gonna take the few days and try and get in, try and get back into a little bit of a routine. I'll probably bring you guys along for that process as I try and like acclimate back into like normal life and back into normal genes as I hopefully de-bloat over these past, over these next couple days. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you're having a good week and I'll see you guys next time. I love how that's become like my unofficial sign off. I just started doing that every time. Don't know why, but I'm just gonna continue doing it. I feel like it flows. <laughs> okay, bye.